Hi everyone, I'm Matt. I'm the program director for Studio 72, which is an arts and creativity living learning community here at Virginia Tech. At Studio 72, we believe that the arts are fundamental to the human experience. And so we spend a lot of time talking about creativity and how it pertains to arts making. Um, and we get as much hands-on experience making different kinds of artwork as possible. I'll talk about a few ways that that happens best. So first, Studio 72 is open to any student with any major at Virginia Tech. We think about Studio 72 as a place where if you want the arts to be part of your experience, but you're not necessarily looking to major in the arts, that you can continue to have that relationship with the arts while you're here. Maybe you were in a band in high school or you did theater, maybe you went to an arts magnet school, or maybe you're writing your own novel right now. Uh, maybe you want to make videos or movies or you want to make video games later on. Um, after college, that Studio 72 is a place where you can hone and develop that creative process uh, to make you an even better artist when you leave Virginia Tech. We have weekly meetings about uh, the artistic process where we're learning more about how and why different artists make creative decisions about their own artwork, as well as weekly critique sessions where you can bring a work in progress to get valuable feedback from your peers about what's working with that piece or maybe what you could do differently to improve it. We round out those weekly meetings with arts making workshops, sometimes with Virginia Tech faculty members, sometimes with visiting artists, sometimes with local artists, and sometimes even with students in the community who are sharing with each other uh, the things that they know about their own artistic process or the things that they make. Some examples of those past workshops include playing improv games, writing short stories or poetry, uh, making ceramic clay pots, uh, and we even one time recorded an original song with members of Studio 72 over the course of two hours. So those workshops are all over the place in terms of what happens and who's uh, facilitating them. These workshops span all different experience levels too. So whether you're an expert at painting or whether you've never picked up an instrument in your life, uh, you can get something out of that workshop when you show up. Studio 72 has a one year living requirement and next year will be located in the Creativity and Innovation District Residence Hall, which is nested in the new CID, Creativity and Innovation District. This building will have some dedicated art specific spaces, including music rehearsal rooms, a 250 person seat auditorium uh, performance hall, maker spaces with 3D printers and other equipment, community meeting spaces, classrooms, and our very own Studio 72 lounge on the third floor, which will be fully stocked with supplies and equipment for you to use in your art making. So why should you join Studio 72? Well, if you really wanna learn more about creativity with other amazing people and expand the way that you think about the arts, Studio 72 can help you with that. If you're looking for a residence hall where open mic nights, game nights, arts making workshops and conversations with Virginia Tech professors about the arts and creativity, are happening regularly, a place, a place where you can showcase your own artwork, Studio 72 can help you with that. If you're looking for a unique community where, where you'll be encouraged to think differently, where you'll be challenged to make art creatively, and where you'll be supported the entire time by mentors and staff members, Studio 72 can help you with that. So come join us. We think you should join Studio 72. So after all, the arts live here, and we think you should too.